Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to this video. My name is Oasis, and in this very quick video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your rules for Git branches on GitHub. So I was working on this application and I created an open source repository for this. So this is a YouTube timestamp generator. So you type something, you type a time, you can just type time, click on submit, and then you will have this properly formatted uh, timestamp. So it's very hard to write this manually in GitHub when you have like 20 or 30 timestamps. So I want you to check out this repository as well. But this video is going to be about how do you set up the rules for your branch. So I created this master branch and I want to set a rule. So I don't want anybody because this repository is a public repository and I don't want anybody to add code to the main branch, which is a master branch. So what do you do is you go to your uh, YouTube tag generator or whatever the repository that you have, then you're gonna go click on settings and then click on branches. Once you click on branches here, you will see your default branch, which in this case is master. And I'm going to click on this button, add rule, click on that and then you will specify the pattern for your branch. So for example, you have a release branch uh, you can type release slash steric, which means any branch will have this release slash and then any number after that will have this rule. But in this case, I'm going to set up the rule for a master branch. So I don't want anybody to uh, push code directly to this branch because this is a public repository. So once I type the name of the branch, then you have this required pull request review before merging. So I'll click on that. And then I will have to have one person to review the code if somebody wants to merge my, uh, code to this branch. And also we will have this required status check. So you can specify the statuses. Uh, there's a lot more here, but let's not go there. So I'll just say, you know, require status just to pass before merging. You can read about this, what it says to you. Now also, I would like to make sure that all the administrator, including me, I'm the administrator for this repository, I'll enforce this restriction for everybody. Now here, there's an option for allow force boost. Sometimes you wanna push that you know, forcefully. So you type dash dash force after your git push command, then it will you know force push to that particular branch. But I'm just going to say allow force push. So I am basically going to force push sometimes to the master branch directly. Now there are some options as well, like allow deletion. So if you want users to allow, if you want to allow users to delete that particular branch, so you can check here, but I'm not gonna do that. So basically, uh, you go to settings, type the branch name. It is a pattern, not a string. So you can specify the patterns here as well. Uh, and then this is the main option, the required pull request before merging. So nobody can push the code directly to it. I will also check this review uh, from code owner. So I'm the code owner, I'll just check this as well. But now I don't have any status checks, so I'll just uncheck this one. But you see we can basically restrict this branch uh, to accept any code from anybody because it's a public repository. Anybody can clone it and then try to push the code and mess up the code. So they won't be able to do that anymore. Uh, so yeah, that was a very quick video. I would like you to check out the video coming up for this YouTube time generator. I built this with the plain JavaScript and this is going to be interesting project on the YouTube. Uh, so yeah, let me finish this video by saying like this video if you did like it and subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.